Campus Corridor, we are at Taylor's University College. Yeah, we are. Jason Yap, uh, I'm currently studying in Taylor's, uh, taking ICPU course. Okay, um, I want to know, have you heard of um, college girls who actually work part-time as call girls or who, you know, get their money through other methods uh, other than work? Um, as I know, Malaysia defines this kind of work as sugar daddy and sugar baby. Um, they mostly works like uh, at night. They only like, accompany their like an escort for for all these uh, mostly men. You know, providing service to get uh, other stuff such as money, luxury goods from uh, these people, so, like guys. Uh, so you are aware about it. It does happen. Yeah. 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 It does happen. But in my college, I don't think so. But other college, maybe. When you say other colleges, um, is it based on what you hear or is it based on what you've seen? Uh, it's on the news that uh, one of these nursing schools in Malaysia that happened that uh, these nurses have this uh, sugar daddy that uh, they pay a, quite an amount of money for them, like a few thousand for a month, so they like sleep around, you know, all these activities which link to, they get all this luxury stuff. And what do you think um, makes them do such a thing? Do you think it's pressure? Do you think it's the fact that they're living by themselves, they they can actually do anything they want? What, what do you think? Uh, my point of view is like, maybe desire and wants, you know, a lot of people come to KL, they want to live the American dreams, they want to own all these uh, luxury items, LV, Gucci, perfume, stuff like that. Uh, that's what made them persuade for being a sugar uh, baby, for getting money to wish what they want. Uh, I think definitely would uh, affect them negatively uh, since you have a kind of weird uh, college lifestyle. What will be next for your future? Maybe you end up in prostitution other than working. Great, thank you. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm 18 this year. I'm doing KDN for you and I'm studying in Taylor's University College. Okay, Melody, I just want to ask you, have you heard about um, college girls who also work part-time as call girls, for example, you know, call girls or escorts? Have you heard of this? Yes, yes, I have. Is it something that's common? I'm not sure, but I know of a few people who do work as call girls. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what do you think um, makes them want to do this? Is it um, the fact that they need the extra cash or is it the fact that, you know, they actually enjoy the lavish li lifestyle that they get to live? I think it's more for the extra cash that they get because with the extra cash then in return they can get an extra kind of lavish lifestyle kind of thing. Probably friends that work as call girls and they get influence and those probably those friends enjoy it and then they they will talk to like a person for example and tell them oh it's a, it's good it's fun you get they pay you well and you know person get influenced by that and yeah. So it is something quite common and it's do you think it's easy to get out of it? Do you think they would ever get out of it? Maybe. If if they start it off well and if they're really into it, then, prob then probably, you know, it'll be a bit hard for them to get out of what they're doing because the pay comes in good and everything and, you know, nightlife and entertainment, that kind of thing. So people like that, you know, but if they have, like, strong willpower, then... Who knows, maybe they might get out of it. Um, you said you know of students who are doing this. Um, would you advise them or would you just let them continue doing it because they're old enough to think for themselves? What, what would you do? I mean, if they're old enough to think for themselves and if they can make their own decisions, in the end it's their choice, but I would ask them to, like advice, not ask, not force, but advise them to probably get, find money, part-time job in a different way, something that you can use in future, maybe like corporate work or something like that, something you can put on your resume, seeing that you've done, you know. Great, thank you so much. Oh, my name is Zue. I'm 32 this year. Um, I'm studying in Taylor's College, ICPU. 
Have you heard about it or read about it anywhere, you know, happening in other countries maybe? Uh, I'm not sure whether it's true, but I did heard about it. Yeah. It happens quite commonly in America, and apparently, according to reports, it also happens here in Malaysia. Uh, it's been said that college girls um, actually can afford to get themselves uh, luxury products, uh, branded items, um, by working part time. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? Um, I think they should reconsider about it. And maybe they should work as a, a normal job, find a normal job, yeah. Or maybe after they graduate, they find a better job. Do you think it's peer pressure? Do you think, what, what, what do you think makes them want to do such a thing? Maybe they crave for materialistic items. Uh, that's just my speculation. I don't have to give um, any so your thoughts? Assum assumptions, you know. Yeah. Could it be something else? Could it be that they have, uh, they're lonely and they need uh, someone to show them that they care and maybe s some money wouldn't, wouldn't hurt? What, what are your thoughts? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you.